Welcome. In this short video, we're going to do a brief demo of a product called Charting Companion. Now, Charting Companion is a product from Progeny, which complements Roots Magic by providing charts that Roots Magic doesn't already currently have, uh, such as fan charts, both ancestor and descendant fan charts. In fact, it's the only program I've ever seen that can do what's called a descendant fan chart. You can also do things like uh, ancestor charts that include all the siblings of all the ancestors and more. So let's, let's just do a brief demo and show you just a few of these. When you first run the program, it's going to ask you which file you want to use, which Roots Magic file. And in this case, I'm going to choose this sample uh, Roots Magic file that we have here. Now, one of the things that's really nice about Charting Companion is it's not limited to just Roots Magic files. While it does do a direct read of the Roots Magic files, it will also read files from Legacy and Family Tree Maker and Jedcom and uh, a number of other products. So when you get this program, you're not limited to just being able to read Roots Magic files. If somebody sends you a file from another product, uh, you can generate charts from those as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open this sample. Now, one thing I can do also is if I click on scan disk, that's what's going to search and fill uh, this list with all the different files that I have on my hard drive. Or I can click browse to just go find that file directly. So anyways, that's the one I want. I'm going to click OK. And uh, Charting Companion is going to open up my Roots Magic file. It's actually going to import that Roots Magic data into its format so that I can start working with that. Now it's going to show me my starting person. The little name up here, it's highlighted. That's kind of my primary person that I'm working with. And then it's going to show me spouses and children of that person, the father, mother, and events in that person's life. And I can navigate around from person to person just by double clicking on the other family members to jump to them or I can click on the little index button right here. That'll bring up a list of everybody that's in my file and I can just go select somebody directly from there. Now, there's a number of buttons here, but the one we're going to be working with right, to, right today is going to be the printer button and that's basically the reports. So let's go ahead and just start with one. I'm going to go in and I'm going to select the ancestor chart, just a standard ancestor chart. Now you can see right here, there's a number of different types of things you can do. You can do things that aren't even really charts, like family group sheets and pedigree charts, descendant and ancestor books. So you have those capabilities. There's also a thing called a trellis chart, which kind of shows everybody in the file. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to to kind of figure out what that's going to look like. But since we're trying to keep this short, let's just stick with an ancestor uh, chart for now. I'm going to choose that chart and I'm going to click OK. Now when I do that, I have a lot of different options. I can choose how many generations, whether I want to print reference numbers, the date format, whether or not to include place names, uh, Cousin Smart, make sure it doesn't print cousins over and over again if there's cousin marriages. Um, I choose which events I want and then I can choose things like the layout, what size things should be, um, you know, whether I want uh, it, it scaled, the page size. So if I'm printing on 8.5 by 11 paper, uh, this will actually generate my chart on multiple 8.5 by 11 pages. It will actually have the little crop marks where I can cut them and tape them together. Uh, in this case, I've actually put a larger a larger chart size so that I can actually demo this and show you the chart all in one single page. I can also choose what format do I want my boxes, uh, things like that. I can choose colors and we're going to come back to the colors. Right now I'm going to tell it to do color coloring by generation. Uh, I can also choose the font, the title, and whether or not I want a border around it. So I can choose ornamental borders. There's a bunch of borders that I can pick from. For now, I'm just going to choose no border. So I'm going to go ahead and preview this. Now, when I do this, when I preview this chart, one thing you'll notice is what it does is it actually creates a PDF file and opens it up in my Adobe Reader. And so at this point, I'm ready to go. I can just come up here. I can print it. I can save it. I can take it to 
a, a, a large format printer and have it printed directly from this PDF file. Okay, you'll notice this chart as I scroll, again, as I mentioned, I had color coding the coloring by generation. So each generation is a separate color. Okay, and I can, again, I can go in there and I can change those colors. And so there's that, there's my plain old ancestor chart, the one you've seen before. Now, I can also, though, go in and include siblings. This is a really nice feature. And so I'm going to tell include siblings, and that's the only change I'm making. And I'm going to preview this. Now my chart's going to actually get quite a bit bigger. Let me scroll down to that starting person. Here's my starting person. And you'll notice that instead of being just him, it also has his siblings as well. Now if I follow the line to go up to his father, there's his father, but it also has all of his father's siblings as well. And they're shown with the little dashed lines. Again, I can go to his father, and there's his father along with all the siblings. And you'll notice the siblings have a little bit lighter color so that the direct ancestors still stand out. But you do see all of the siblings in every generation. This is nice because you can see things like how uh, names were passed from generation to generation. You can see those all those aunts and uncles where you can see that type of thing. Okay, let me go ahead and I'm going to turn that back off so I can get the um, get the chart back to kind of a manageable size. And I'm going to change from colors. Now, in the generation, when we did it by generation, I just used the default colors, but you can come in here and you can set those colors to anything you want. But I can also go in and do things like lineage. And in this case, I'm going to say, use again, use the default, but you got the father of the father, mother of the father, father of the mother, mother of the mother. I'm going to go ahead and preview it. And there is my ancestor chart with each of the four uh, parental or grandparent lines in different colors. There's my blue, green, red, and yellow. Okay, I can also go in on color and I can set that gender. So if I want to have it have it colored by gender, there we go. Lots of pinks and blues. Okay, and finally, I can have it do color coding based on X chromosome line. And again, you can pick those colors if you want. And so there's your X chromosome line. So that's going to basically follow down through the mother's line that you can see that. Okay, now one of the things that's nice is, as I mentioned, um, the ability to include siblings. Um, you can also include photos. So if I choose to include photos, and let me go pick a color coding that I like better. I like that lineage one. So I can go ahead and preview this. And just by clicking that, if I've got photos, those photos are now included in my chart as well. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and before I move on to the next type of chart we're going to do, I will point out that any of these charts that include ancestors, for example, the hourglass, which includes, takes a person and includes his ancestors and his descendants, you can include the siblings for the ancestors in that as well. And the same thing with the bow tie. The bow tie selects a person and has the father going, the father's line going to the left and the mother's line going to the right. And you can include the uh, the siblings in those charts as well. So kind of any place where you're going to be able to print uh, the ancestors, you can have it include all the siblings in there. Okay, what I want to move to is the fan chart. And let's go ahead and start with an ancestor fan chart. That's the standard fan chart. The one, whenever you've seen a fan chart, in most cases, or in, in just about all cases, it's an ancestor fan chart. So again, I'm going to go ahead and start with the same James Smith here. I'm going to do OK. And again, I have the options, how many generations, the formats. Uh, you, again, you have your layout information, your colors. I'm going to go ahead and do it by generation here uh, in your fonts and borders if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and preview this. And I now have a fan chart. There's my fan chart. Again, it opens it up in Acrobat so that I'm ready to just go ahead and print or do whatever I want. And so you'll see here's my starting person. There's the parents, the four grandparents, the great grandparents, and the great great grandparents. And again, I can go as many generations as I feel like I need to 
uh, when I'm doing this particular chart. So let's go ahead and show you just a couple of other things. I can also, on the layout, if I want to do more than the half circle, if I want the full circle, it'll be the exact same data, except that it will show you it in a full circle. There's my starting person, the parents, the four grandparents, great grandparents, and great great grandparents there. I can also do the same type of thing with color. Right now it's sort of coloring by generation, but I can also color it by lineage, and that's going to give me the four quadrants. So each of those four grandparent lines, the four quadrants, are going to be in their own color. And again, I can also do it by, by uh, gender, and I can also do it by the X chromosome line. Now, the last chart we're going to show you here is going to be the descendant. And I'm going to, so I'm going to go out to an ancestor. So for James, I'm going to select his father, and then grandfather, great-grandfather, great-great-grandfather. That's probably far enough for him. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to now pick a descendant fan chart. And like I say, this is the only program I've ever seen that can do a descendant fan chart. And I can choose the layout, same thing, half circle, full circle, the colors, and so on. I'm going to do this preview. And here is my descendant fan chart. So this is my ancestor, James Smith, who married Betsy. That's why I have the ring inside here. And they had these children. And that's why I, I selected to do this initially by generation. So that's my first generation. The next generation is this color. They had children, Nathaniel Knight Smith, Oliver, and Oliver was married but had no children. That's why it's, it's a smaller text and going full. They had a child, James Smith, who was married to Ruth and had children, and we'll come back to that. And then they had these other children out here. Okay, so the children that James and Ruth had, these children were either married or were not married, but I don't have any children entered for them. Uh, same for Nathaniel. But Howard Smith Sr., he was married, in, at least I have his spouse in here, along with his wife and their children. And Howard Smith Jr. was married twice to Mary Jones and to Floridel Jones, and with Floridel had these three children. So as you can see, you can actually get all of your descendants in a fan chart like this. I can come back and I can change that layout to a full circle if I want to be able to have a little bit more room to squeeze information into. Again, there's my first generation, the second generation, um, there's the third generation, fourth generation, and fifth generation. And again, I can, I can change the coloring. So if I want to color by something other than generation, if I want to color by lineage, I can get a really pretty chart that might be a little harder to follow, but I can get a lot of pretty colors uh, when I do that. Anyways, so that is a brief demonstration of Charting Companion. And if you'd like to get more information about Charting Companion, you can go to our website at www.rootsmagic.com slash products slash other. Just, anyway, so if, if you look on, we'll put a link up here on this, uh, on this little demo video. You can click on that to jump to, uh, to that page where you can find out more information uh, about this particular product.